March 2nd. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's 518. I'm going to include in this description box um, how there's a pastor. I, I'm not sure where he was at, but he used to advertise on benches out off the side on the highway where people would wait to catch a bus. And he used the word name Jesus. And they told him that he would have to stop using that name. And see, that kind of goes with what I've been telling people, why they've been saying all these different names to replace Jesus Christ. Okay? They're wanting to get rid of that name, Jesus Christ, because the Bible clearly says those that deny Jesus Christ are anti-Christ. And uh, you're going to see in this video here where yeah, you know, it's it's self-explanatory. Okay, and I believe that's the reason where the foolish come in because they weren't paying attention to this. And um, the Lord's going to take us out of here to where it's going to really be bad because right now he's holding them back. Okay, he's holding it back. But as soon as we're gone, if you notice, it's been getting a little bit and a little bit and a little bit more, just more intense. You know what I mean? And... When we're gone out of this equation, um, then it's really going to be bad because there's not going to be nothing here restraining it anymore. And he's going to have uh, power and authority. And it's God that gives him the power and authority to do what he's going to do. And that's why it also says in the Bible, as soon as your fellow brethren in uh, Revelations 6 or in 5, where it says when you when your fellow brothers are killed as you were killed, um, people are just enjoying their lives right now. They're not even in, in paying attention to what's going on. Um, they're not taking nothing with them, you guys. And uh, you see why I am where I am. I chose to do what I'm doing because I seen the wickedness. And when I was approached to say, they said if I spoke less about Jesus Christ, they would turn my life around. Listen, I wasn't even talking about Jesus Christ. And I didn't even have a Bible at the time, okay? So I knew something was wrong. Didn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out. Uh, that angel blowing that trumpet. I received this in 2014. My football coach, um, he offered me a job in 2014. Just before I got this photo. And uh, I had something come over me where I knew um, something bad was coming out here. I started noticing it in 2001 when I killed those snakes in my kitchen. Um, two days in a row. In the exact same spot. <clears throat> and this was when the Twin Towers were knocked down. And these two snakes looked identical. You know, identical. And they were in the exact same spot. And, I mean, you know, listen, I've been around for a little while, and I've never seen nothing like this happen in my life. And uh, so I started also noticing, after they were knocked down, things were getting worse every year. And people were getting a little bit more uh, waxed cold, you could say, okay? Like it says in the Bible, more waxed cold. <clears throat> and today, it's, it's really extremely that way. The perverted lifestyle, um, everybody's accepted it. We're getting ready to go home, okay? We're going to be taken out of here pretty soon. My dreams when I was at that campsite, I seen the uh, stars moving back and forth as I was looking up. But what was happening was the earth was shaking like a drunkard to and fro, okay? That's why everything in space looked like it was moving, but it was actually the earth. That was moving, okay? And uh, then as we were being lifted up, just being lifted up, I seen stars coming down. And that's exactly what it says when the sixth seal was opened, okay? That's exactly what it says. Um, After the saints got their white robes. And see, I believe the saints already got their white robes. That was in uh, 
the fifth seal, and then right after, because this happens at the same time, the fifth to the sixth, okay? And when the fifth happens, the saints get their white robes, okay? Which is just a very short time before the sixth seal is opened. And that's when the earthquake happens. And I've been telling everybody, I, I feel they've already gotten their white robes. Why? Because of uh, that dream that I had where I was getting into that room. And then when you go into uh, Isaiah 26... Verse 20, 21, this is the dream that I had. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy door about thee. Hide thyself as if it were for a little moment. You see how I use that term, as if it was for a little moment? Because that time that we're going to be there, a lot is going to happen here on earth because time won't exist as it does here. You know what I mean? Time is going to be different. When we're there, where he's going to put us, um, where he says, come, my people, he's calling us to him. Come, uh, my people, enter thou into thy chambers. Remember he said there's many rooms in his father's house. Enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as if it were for a little moment until the indignation overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth. See, we're not going to be on the earth when this happens uh, for their iniquity. The earth shall also disclose all disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. All right, now that was a dream I had. I had to hurry it up and get in that room, okay, and shut the door. So therefore... You know, and it talks about woe to Ephraim and <laughs> Ephraim, you know, that was one of Joseph's children. And then if you look at America on that one dollar bill, <clears throat> there was the twelve tribes, okay? The twelve. Now, why is it that here on the back of the one dollar bill with the one eye, you see that eagle and it's got twelve the the um, the olive branch. It's got twelve leaves and twelve olives on the olive branch. And then it's got, um, it's got 12, or no, it's got 13 leaves and 13 olives. And then on the other, where the arrows are, it's got 13 arrows. And then above it, the eagle, it's got 13 stars. We know we have the 12 tribes, but those that say they are Jews but are not Jews, that's here in America, okay? And what are they doing? Oh, it's in the Hebrew Bible. You know, this is what his real name is. And they're trying to change the name of Jesus. Now, I want you to look at the video that I'm going to describe in the description box. They're going to, you're going to see where they're coming against a, the name of Jesus. They don't want it being used anymore, period. You know, you can't advertise that name no more. There's a reason why they want to get rid of it. Now, listen, if somebody's telling you, that name is the same as Jesus Christ. It's the same. Well, why don't you use it if it's the same? Instead of trying to convince me of using something that's not, you know, what everybody else has always called them. My family's family's families, my family's family's families have always called them Jesus Christ. See, they're trying to further deceive you, okay? Now here, you see on the sixth seal, okay, or the, the fifth seal, it says they were all given uh, white robes and they were told to wait until their fellow brethren were killed as they were killed. And then it immediately gets to the sixth seal right after that. That's where the earthquake is, immediately. Now the wedding supper said that they were called, but they didn't show up, okay, they didn't show, and that's why he sends his armies down here to destroy those murderers and to burn up their cities, okay? Well, the great earthquake here, it shows you right here, the great earthquake and the stars fell from heaven. This is when we're getting ready to go, as it says in um, um, the marriage in St. Matthew's 22. It speaks about that. 
this has everything to do with the sixth seal right here. Same thing. All right, because I seen as we were being lifted up as this happened. And then what does it say in St. Matthew's? To go out into the highways and bid as many people as we can, and the wedding was furnished. In other words, he's going to try to get people even at that last moment. Okay, and then the wedding's furnished. We're gone. And then it says, uh, that's when they all started saying, fall on us for that great day of his wrath has come. And who shall be able to stand? You know, then it talks about the sealing of the, uh, of God's servants, the 144,000 of the 12 tribes. Okay. And then it also speaks about, this is in the seventh seal. Okay. Or the uh, sixth seal. Excuse me. Have you noticed they came out with a new iPhone called 7? iPhone 7? See, the signs are on the earth. They're, they're putting it right in front of your faces. It's just a lot of times people aren't paying attention. They're too uh, into the worldly lust of this life. Okay? Now, the saints get their are going to be taken up into heaven, okay? That's when we're taken up there. And I believe that's when um, we go into our chambers and God's indignation comes down, okay? And once we get everybody for the wedding that to be furnished, he said, for a little while. And then when we go into our rooms and he comes back, Jesus comes back and we're probably going to go to the party, the wedding party. And then the seventh seal, when that's opened up, there's going to be the seven last plagues. Okay? And it's it's just going to be horrible what's going to happen. They won't survive it. This is going to be the last, probably the last three and a half years or so where things are going to get really super wicked. Um, you know, because it's going to say here, whoa, whoa, whoa to the inhabitants of the earth. Um by reason of other voices, the trumpet of the three angels, which are yet to sound. Just the four trumpets that sound is going to be really bad. And then there's going to be three to go. You know what I mean? That's when it talks about the plagues coming um, or the uh, locust coming out. It's going to be some bad stuff. And then it speaks about the two witnesses. You know, and then that seventh trumpet. Yeah, all of these things are getting ready to happen, you guys. We're at that point. We're we're at the point where we're getting ready to go. I know this is it. Just like those car tags you've seen that I put that video on. Um, we're getting ready to go home. You know, we've we've done what we're supposed to do here. I guess you know. I've traveled all over the place, did everything that I knew to do, these videos, um, this photo, it wasn't meant just for me. This photo was meant for me to show to other people out there so that they would see. Just like when you see those spirits moving around me, that was meant so you could see where it says in Ephesians, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against spiritual principalities. Okay, and Jesus has always said the devil is the ruler. Did you see that orb? He said the devil was the ruler of this world. He's always said that. And uh, that was a big one, man. It flew in front of my face and then moved on. He said the devil was the ruler of this earth. He's always told us my kingdom is not of this world. And, uh, you know, people... Uh, and then, he, even though he told us the truth about everything, said the devil was always here and he's a ruler of this place. And he said, I come to overcome what was in the world. And then he said, follow me. Okay, follow me. And the only way we could follow him was with our spirit. Believing in him, trusting in him. All right, and the reason why he said to follow him was because he knew in our flesh we wouldn't make it. And if you look around, most people ain't going to make it. They're not going to make it. 
And uh, I've had a lot of people telling me, don't show this. This is this just for me only. No, it's not meant for just for me. Because if that's the case, I would have gotten this photo in 77. I didn't get that photo until 2014. Okay? So that means it was meant to be shown to everybody. And I've shown it to everybody since 20. 15 September 2015 is when I started showing it on the internet and now you can be sure our government they're very well aware of me being here because you know how they are about aliens they're always looking for life on other planets and let me tell you the devil was looking for this and the devil's always been here and you can be sure when the devil seen that it got his attention and where was the devil? I say he was in Area 51. Okay? Why Area 51? 5 plus 1 is what? 6. Okay? That's man's number, 6. Um, there, there's cloning going on out there too, okay? You guys don't hear me talking a lot about the cloning. The reason why they clone is for the demonic spirit so they can host the bodies okay they host them like puppets it gives them something to live in and uh, I don't really want to get too distracted with that because God's coming here he's gonna destroy all this okay um, listen I'm gonna let you guys go God bless you I love each and every one of you I hope and pray that you get something out of this message know this that when the earthquake shakes we don't have to be fearful because our eyes we were separated we were awakened and we know what it says in Matthews 22 when this happens we're gonna very calmly go oh we know what this is this is where we're supposed to bid as many as we can good and bad to the wedding and then we go and then when we go, the stars are going to be coming down. And it's going to begin getting wicked here for those that are left behind. God bless each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you. And uh, look up for our redemption draws near. Okay?